Welcome everyone to the Stay Vintage Tuned Industry Show. My name is DJ Rip and I want to welcome DJ Wiz and Sister Cypher. What up world, what it do, what it do, Stay Vintage Tuned, we out here, DJ Wiz, where you at Cypher? Hey, that's what's poppin'. How y'all doing, gentlemen? I'm so happy to be amongst kings again today with the uh, Vintage Tunes. Guys, how y'all doing? Yeah, this is the all new Stay Vintage Tuned Industry Show. So we got a lot of legends tonight. A lot of legends is going to be a great one. Yeah, that's super exciting. So, fellas, tell me about this remix with Estelle. I noticed that you had a Biz Marquis sample in it. Tell me about this record and how y'all put this remix together. Well, you know, as um, as usual, uh, th this was in in the early early stages of Vintage Tunes when we, uh, you know, originally decided to start doing commercial remixes. And, uh, and Wiz, you know, he, he loved the record. I loved the record. And, you know, Wiz wanted to do it, you know. And, uh, um, you know, because Wiz has a history of uh, remixing incredible hip hop, and I'm sorry, reggae and hip hop mashups, you know what I mean? Um, I, it was just a perfect fit. You know, Wiz came with the idea. You know, he said, yo, let's, let's uh, what do you think about remixing this? He talked to me about using the Biz Markie sample. Um, which is, you know, the reason why we're playing it, you know, to salute to Bismarcky and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, our prayers go out to him and hopefully he gets well. 
But, uh, um, you know, it just came together. It was a dope record. It still had that new nice reggae Caribbean vibe. So we put the hip hop, you know, gloss to it. And uh, it was a vintage tune. I love it. I always love hearing Estelle too. She has such a unique sound. Yeah, she's dope. Um, she needed they need to bring her back out too. But the females are like running crazy right now. Well, um, you guys had mentioned Biz Marquis. For all those out there just tuning in who don't know, he was hospitalized in a Maryland hospital due to non-COVID related issues, um, probably stemming from his battle with diabetes that he's had. Um, do you guys have any more information on that? No, I, I, I don't personally. Um, you know, I, I understand he's doing, you know, he's, he's being, he's stable and, you know, he's going to get through it. So our prayers are out to him. You know, we just always want to salute a legend and, and, you know, we want Bismarcky to live forever. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. So, and so, that but, he will, like, yeah, without yeah. a shadow of a doubt, his mark has been made. <laughs> yeah, yes. So, so, uh, so, so no, no new updates, but uh, I'm sure he's going to get through it and we, we're going to love to see him on the other side. He's going to be even better than ever. You know what I mean? So, uh, no no God will. Salute Bismarck, Cool V, the whole Juice crew, everybody out there, man. Salute, prayers, and blessings to, you know, you and your family that's going through anything during this time. But yeah, definitely Bismarck could get better, man. We need you out here, big dog, get better. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, moving along on some news, we there was a big uh, moment in history with Beyonce dropping her Black is King. I did not get a chance to watch it. However, I know that you did, DJ Rip. Can you please tell us about it? So, uh, you know, I have children and uh, my wife, so we uh, were an advocate on Disney+. Plus. So uh, I love it. I love watching The Mandalorian, the Star Wars movies and everything. <laughs> and uh, Beyonce, fortunately, debuted uh, exclusively on Disney Plus, uh, you know, her, her film. You know, she did the Lion King soundtrack. So now this is her, you know, uh, her, uh, her take on it and her version. And to me, in a nutshell, it is the modern day thriller, the modern day uh, Purple Rain, the modern day jam, the modern day I'm bad. It's it's, it's what we used to love, those cinematic movies, you know, those mini videos. This is her version of it, and I think it's incredible. You know, um, the way she put it together, the music, um, you know, just the, her interpretation, a lot of African culture, Black history. It was It's just amazing. I think everybody should watch it. Salute to Beyonce. It's incredible. So, so I was reading up on it, and they said that, I, I like this line right here in Vulture, I said it blurs the lines between film, music video, photography, poetry, and nature documentary, which I was like, what? Yeah. But um, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Because I remember when I went to the Grammys a couple years ago, that was when she was pregnant and she, her set was insane. I mean, she had both sides of the stages. She was the only artist who had that. And it was just amazing. She really has a way of bringing together fashion and music and dancers. And then another part, which you know is special to me, is honoring African like history and legacy um, in a way that you know really brings light to it. So I'm super excited to watch it. I can't believe yeah. I haven't done it yet. I'm late. What kind of mom am I? Dang. Hey, you know, I know right? You know. I ain't even watched it either. <laughs> It was crazy. Matter of fact, Rip, don't we got a don't we got a remix or something with uh, Beyonce from that some from that joint? So of course, of course, there's always a beautiful time with vintage tunes, right? <laughs> so uh, so yes, we do have uh, we did some things with Mad Lion, uh, but but we do also have a remix that we're gonna release, you know, of one of her records she did for the Lion King soundtrack, which is actually in the film. So uh, I think it's gonna be cool. So we do got a little something to drop. So you know, why not? Why not? I can't wait to hear that, fellas. Does it have like an Afro beat sound or what, what should we expect? Because that album to me is insane. I mean, me and the kids, even me without the kids, jam to it all the time in the car. So the only only little hint we could probably give is it has a Jay-Z sound to it. Oh, OK. But it's, it's okay. dope. It, it's, it's dope. It's classic, classic sound to give you a great Beyonce feel. But it, it you know, it, it uh. It makes it a little bit more club DJ friendly, you know what I mean? So right. it's cool. It's cool. Well, well, I can't wait. You guys are always making magic. For all those that aren't familiar, uh, make sure you log on to www.vintagetunes.com. 
Facebook.com so that you can hear all the new remixes and watch all of our interviews. And with that being said, DJ Rip, please introduce our guest. <laughs> 